we realize that whether the Romans decree death on him or not, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai for himself and for his soul needed to run away for 13 years in that cave. And this has to be, again, we asked when we began this discussion, what is the, the specific action that enabled Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai to achieve his, his, the perfection of his soul and the revelation of light to his all for himself and for the world? Only one thing. In that cave, you acquired Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, your light and your greatness. And for us, don't fool yourself by being a spiritual person, somebody who studies, and somebody who prays, and somebody who does the spiritual work. Are you in the active process of, as Rabbi Nehorai tells us, are you pushing yourself to an uncomfortable place, physical or otherwise, to study, to do, to connect? Otherwise, again, you can be a spiritual person, but you will never achieve the true purpose for which you came into this world. The Ora Chaim, Rabbi Chaim ben Atar, the great Kabbalist, writes in this week's portion because really when you realize this is what this entire portion of Bechukotai is about, right? it says, Im Bechukotai Telechu. If you go in a spiritual work, which means there always has to be a movement, movement to where? To a makom galut, to an uncomfortable place for your spiritual study, for your spiritual work. If you're not in that movement, as Rabbi Nehorai tells us, if you're, not, if you're not in an uncom constant, uncomfortable movement to, to an uncomfortable place for your study, for your work, you'll never achieve the purpose for which you came into this world. And therefore, when this week's portion begins and it says, if you want to achieve the blessings and the light for which the entire spiritual work is given to you, don't forget, always ask yourself that question, am I actively pursuing this teaching of, of Rabbi Nehorai, which is I am, I, am making, I am either in physical state or in spiritual state or in other ways breaking myself out of my settled area in order to study, in order to pray, in order to connect, in order to do my spiritual work. So Rabbi Chaim ben Atar, in, in speaking of that verse, says, we find that everybody, in at least 2,000 years ago, this is the time of the Talmud and the Zohar, they all knew this teaching. That if you had an amazing, and this is an amazing thing, and realize what this is. You had an amazing teacher right down the street, and you had a mediocre teacher six months travel away, better travel for six months and study for one day with him, and travel back six months to your house, waste basically a year in travel and study only for one day, then study for a whole year with a better teacher that's right around your corner. Why? They all knew this idea that it's not about study, it's not about the work, it's about being in that place that can truly reveal light. And the place that can truly reveal light is a place that's called Galut, the place that's called when you're putting yourself in the uncomfortable position. And there's, there, there are those of the, of the righteous who would travel for six months and would travel back for six months and to do work for one day. Stop and think about that for a moment. That, that it's worth to travel for six months to do work for one day and travel again for six months rather than because of the simple, the logical answer, what are, you, what are you wasting your time for? Stay in your home. You have a great teacher right by you, study 12 months, we do the spiritual work for 12 months, why are you traveling six months only to do work for one day and travel all the way back? Because that's the secret. Rabbi Nehorai teaches us the secret that what you can accomplish if you are being gole, if you're putting yourself in the uncomfortable position to study even for one day, you'll get more light in that one day than you will in an entire year of studying spiritual work in your restful home amazing revelation it's not simply hey. that it's a, a good thing it's an it's a, it's a positive thing to put yourself in an uncomfortable position as Rabbi Nehorai says put yourself in a, an uncomfortable uh, travel situation in order to study in order to do the spiritual work it's not a good thing it's the only way I know that, I know that. the only way the only way Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai achieved his life and the light of Zohar, light, so which means the only way for any one of us to achieve the light at the end of the connection is by making sure that our work, again, do less. Study one day of the year 
but make it really difficult for you to, to get there and come back. Rather than study for an entire year in comfort in your home. You, may, you realize that you realize that it has nothing to do with actions, with study, with, with the spiritual work. It has to do with how much this concept of, of galut or this concept of, of the uncomfortability is involved in your study, in your work, in your connection. Just think about that. Better to travel for six months, to study for one day, and travel, travel back for six months than to study for 12 months straight. Of course, those 12 months, yeah, you'll get wiser and you'll have wisdom and your ego will grow and you'll think that you're spiritual, but you will have not touched the light of the Gemara Tikkun. You will not touch the light of the end of the correction. You want to receive the light of the end of the correction, consistent, consistently ask yourself this question. Is my spiritual work involved consistently with, with a process, travel, physical, spiritual, uncomfortable? Is that what the, my spiritual work is based on? If not, then the not Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai even. If you, even if you were Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, had that soul, you still could not achieve the purpose for which you came into this world.